Uh, here is another Aquamat robot demo. Uh, the robot for watering your uh, lawns. The, uh, this particular demo will demonstrate the new uh, Bluetooth low energy based connection for controlling the robot as well as a new code which uses splines to um, approximate the perimeter of your lawn. So the whole idea is that um, if you have lawn of uh, any arbitrary shape uh, you will define uh, these points along the uh, area perimeter. Uh, then um, the software will approximate any points in, bet in between the defined ones using a spline and um, I will show you how it works. Uh, first of all you can see that the uh, controller is running and uh, let me power up, let me reset it first okay now I am powering up the uh, service and it's just to find this uh, okay I'm connecting power to my service all right now um, let me start my UI running on the iPhone so here it is uh, first of all I need to connect to the uh, Bluetooth I'm selecting device okay so now device is connected so I can run my UI so UI as you can see UI uh, uh, has some orange buttons these buttons uh, represent uh, each button represent a point along the perimeter all I need to do to define the um, angles of my uh, water nozzle so these two servers represent uh, robotic arms that uh, direct the water nozzle so let me see. let's start with the first point now moving these sliders I can select any point any angle let's let it be here for instance over here next point let's say here next point I can review my settings by switching between the points each time I press the button the server shows me the angle that I defined before and I can uh, adjust it if I need once I am pleased with the angles I hit this button and uh, the software running on the controller starts moving along the line which I defined so as you can imagine that uh, the line here in fact should be represented by something like that or maybe like that when you when you move your nozzle you need to you, you are not moving along the straight line you are moving it along the some curve in order for the end of the water stream to reach your perimeter and of course if uh, I want to change something uh, it's enough to press the button and uh, the UI switches back to program mode for instance I want to lower that once uh, I made my adjustments, hit this button, 
and now it uh, accommodates the changes I've just made. And another thing, I can change the speed. So this is the fastest speed. And this is the slowest speed. Medium. So in the future, uh, more buttons will be added to my UI. Um, so there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points all together. And uh, the software will scan the defined rectangle like that, line by line, watering uh, each uh, area within the given perimeter. So that's one thing. The, the other thing you notice that uh, as I programmed the angles, a server was really jerking. Uh, this is caused by some timing issues um, on my controller. It's a known problem and um, I have to address that. There are two ways to address that. Uh, one uh, is, uh, so right now the pulses provided to the servers are software driven and uh, some other activities on controller uh, other interrupts the affect uh, the precision of the pulse uh, pulses width. And, um, uh, there are two PWM uh, pins on that controller and uh, if uh, I use some other libraries that uh, make advantage of uh, hardware-based uh, PWM generation, uh, it can greatly improve the uh, quality of control. Uh, the other option would be to use some uh, other boards designed specifically for uh, servers. There are multi-channels multi-channel boards available that uh, talk to to Arduino through serial interface. So one of the other options should fit that. That's everything I wanted to show you today. Thank you for watching. Bye.